welcome back to our EV session. I hope you all are absolutely good and taking care of yourself and also watching the videos properly and carefully. So children, uh, as you all know, we had started with the new chapter yesterday. That is lesson number 12 we had started. That is plants and their care. In this chapter, we are studying about the plants. Right? About the parts of plants. So as you all know, there are uh, parts of plants are divided into two parts as I told you. In the last session, I told you about the one part in the next and the next part is remaining which we will do today okay so and also i told you about the functions of root so let's take a quick recap of that and then we will continue this chapter so students as you all know there are a lot of parts of plants their main part of plants are like stem leaves flowers fruits buds so these are uh, these uh, these parts include in the shoot system shoot system okay and then one more part is there that is roots roots include in the root system and then that root system what is the root system root system is a system which is under the ground roots are just under the ground to ground ki under grow karti hai. those are the root system and they are of two types two types to the tap root system or fibrous root system okay these are of two types, tap root system and fibrous root system. So, what are the difference between tap root system and fibrous root system? Tap root system plants are some plants having the main root. Unki main root hoti hai like a, we can say a carrot or radish. They are having a main root but they are having some small branches and these are the known as side roots or we can say uh, them a uh, uh, next name is lateral roots okay so these are known as side roots or lateral roots which are just uh, jo main root ke upar jo choti choti branches grow karti these are the lateral roots or side roots okay so this was about the tap root system now i'm going to talk about the uh, fibrous root system fibrous root system is just opposite it doesn't have any main root it is having many roots like a fiber like a fiber very thin roots right and these are the very thin roots and these are under the ground and the main part of our plant is up to the ground okay so this was about the tap root system and fibrous root system i hope this concept is clear to all of you about the root system and i told you about the functions of root system also right so what are the functions of roots functions of roots are uh, it helps the uh, plant in growing like it absorb all the nutrients all the minerals all the salt salt and water from the soil and gives to the plant it helps in the growth of plant mainly right second thing it uh, store the food food ko store karke bhi rakhti hai like beetroot and uh, some plants are like this jo uh, food ko store karke rakhte hai for the plant next it is like it gives us uh, additional spot also fibrous uh, sorry uh, roots gives additional spots like i have given you the example of bunion tree as you can see on the bunion tree there are so many like ropes wo ropes kya karti hai uski stems itni zyada heavy hoti hai ki unko hold karne ke liye uska uh, usko additional spot chahiye hoti hai Okay, so that was about the root system and what are the functions of root system. So today in this session, I will be telling you about the shoot system. Right? Shoot system, what is the shoot system? Shoot system is a part of plant which grows above the ground. As I told you root about the root system, root system is a part of plant which grows just uh, under the ground. Right? And now about the shoot system. Shoot system is a part of plant which grows above the ground. Jo ground ke upar grow karte hai. It consists main parts, main plants, uh, main parts of plants are the stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. So now I will be telling you about each and everything in detail. And one more thing I want to tell you about the flowers. I will not 
give you a proper description in this chapter next chapter is of flower we will do a proper description of flower in the next chapter okay but today i will show you the diagrams i will make the diagrams here and you can see how it looks what are the parts so now for that just see the another board okay students so we are starting with the shoot system so what is shoot system shoot system is the part of plant which grows above the ground that uh, part is known as the shoot system and it consists many parts like stem leaves flowers and seed and uh, yeah also these four flower and leaf also so these are the five parts uh, which consist in the shoot system so firstly i am going to tell you about the stem so stem what is stem stem is the part of plant that rises vertically up from ground so what is vertically firstly vertically is just like this in this direction this is the vertically and in this direction this is the whole joint so uh, it is saying it's uh, part, uh, part of plant that rises vertically up from ground this is a ground and it is just growing vertically up from ground this is known as stem this is known as stem stem is the main and very hardest part of the plant and it is also known as trunk it is also known as trunk is ko uh, trunk we kehte hain it is also known as trunk stem okay so uh, about the uh, stem we are studying so now i am going to tell you about the functions of the stem you know we eat some plants stem also hum kuch plants ke stem bhi eat karte hain that i will be telling you so what is the function of plant uh, work function of stem function of stem is it carries water and minerals or any salt from the roots and gives to the leaves jo bhi sare minerals hote hain jo bhi salt jo bhi nutrients hote hain wo sare soil se roots se collect karke ye kisko dete hain inka what is the work of uh, stem it just carries these things and it send it to the leaves kisko dete hain leaves ko this is the first function now what is the second function of stem it carries prepared food jo food food kon bana da hai plant ka leaves leaves make the food for plant we can say leaves are the kitchen of plant so leaves jo hai food banati hain jo carries kon karta hai unhe stem stem carries the prepared food and it gives to the other parts of plants jo bhi part ke dusre प्लांट के जो भी दूसरे पार्ट्स हैं उनमें उन तक कौन पहुंचाता है सारा खाना इट्स द वर्क ऑफ स्टेम सो दिस वाज द सेकंड फंक्शन नाउ द थर्ड फंक्शन इट स्टोर्स फूड इन सम प्लांट्स स्टेम्स आर जस्ट इन सम प्लांट्स स्टेम्स आर वेरी हेल्पफुल इन स्टोरिंग द फूड एंड दीज आर नोन एज अंडरग्राउंड मॉडिफाइड so children example of underground stems mean underground modified stems are like onion ginger and potato we are eating them in the our daily life we are using in our cooking also so these are the some stems which we eat and which grows under the ground inka jo stem hota hai wo under the ground grow karta hai okay so this was about the stem so now we are going to study about next part of the plant that is leaf firstly i am making here a structure of leaf so this is a leaf leaf is a very thinnest and a green green part of the plant right and it is used for preparing the food it is a kitchen of the plant okay ye plant ke liye kya banate hain khana banate it prepare food for the plant so leaves are the kitchen of the plant we can see so now uh, you can see this leaf this is known as a leaf blade this part is known as leaf blade this is known as stalk and this is known as leaf base 
leaf base and these leaves are just connected with the branches of the plant okay so this was about the leaf next is about the fruit fruit like i am drawing here an apple i just cut it down from the center i cut it down from the center so what i can see here in this part there are the some seeds of the plant there are some seeds of the plant this is an apple and i cut it down from the center center me se maine apple ko cut kar diya and we can say there are some seeds in the center of the plant so mostly fruits contain seeds in it okay and uh, these are very healthy for us we should eat them daily and next is about talking uh, uh, seed as i am talking about the seed here now what is seed seed consist of baby plant each seed consist of baby plant in it har ek seed ke andar ek baby plant hota hai and it is food for the new plant ek new plant ke liye kya hai seed are the food for the new plant okay so these are the some parts last part is left that is about flowers So now I am going to tell you about the flowers. Flowers are the very beautiful part of the plant, right? Flowers are the very beautiful part of the plant. So जब भी हम कोई plant देखते हैं अगर उसके ऊपर flowers हैं तो हम attract हो जाते हैं हम देखने जाते हैं उनको, right? जिनके ऊपर beautiful flowers होते हैं. So most beautiful part of plant is its flower. Main function of flowers is to produce fruits and seeds. जो main function होता है plants flowers का this is about to produce fruits and seeds. So you will learn about the parts of plant in the next next lesson. We will read about each and every part of flower. Okay. So here I am telling you. about the part of plant just giving you a very small recap of this a small description of this i am making here a structure of a flower i am making a very rough structure so uh, here i am making this part and you know this part is known as this part Yes, this part is known as carpel. Carpel. The name जो आप तो लेना आज बस, okay? बाकी हम इसके बारे में next lesson में अच्छे से करेंगे. That is carpel. And there are some leaves also. Then these are the sepal. these both are the sepal this part is carpel then here with this and this side also the same thing these are known as stamen these are known as stamen this part is known as stamen then i am talking about here the next part so these are the petals these are the petals of the flower you know this part is a sepal this is a carpel now what is a carpel carpel is the female part of plant carpel is the female part of plant and stamen is the male part of plant and these are the petals jo pattiyan hoti hain those are the petals 
chapter about the flower. So petals. This part is stamen, which is the male part of plant. Male part, male part of flower, and carpel is the female part of flower. And this is a sepal. Okay. I hope this concept is clear. And after that, we will continue this chapter in the next session. And I hope you all are enjoying these different types of things. आपने आज तक नहीं पढ़ा होगा इनके बारे में. We are learning something new this time. So always watch your videos very attentively. अच्छे से उन्हें videos को देखें. If you are not understanding anything, you can call me and ask me whatever you want to ask. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll meet you soon.